Hey friends! Okay, we are back for another uh, traveling recipe <laughs> with our um, with our with our finds with our old favorites here. Um, let's talk about curry. <laughs> so I I love Indian food. I think it's uh, delicious. But I didn't grow up eating Indian food. That was not something I had until I was probably like. Oh, I don't know, late 20s maybe? I don't know. Um, but I did <laughs> grow up eating curried food, um, such as uh, the one we're gonna make this week. This is from my mom's cookbook. This is the one where she would write down recipes. Um, this is chicken cur, no wait, sorry, curry chicken broccoli casserole. So this is curry powder that we always had in, in curry dishes. Um, curry chicken and chicken curry are not the same thing. So <laughs> this curry powder is a blend of like a bunch of spices, but this is not a traditional Indian flavor um, that you would, you would find in actual Indian food. This is like what you would find in British um, Indian food. Like they, they sort of made this, the British people made this spice blend um, to, I guess, re reflect Indian flavors. Um, it is not a traditional Indian flavor though. But um, this is what I had a lot growing up. I had, yeah, curry chicken and curried fruit and things like that, which I love. And I've actually had this recipe quite a few times and I love it. So we're gonna give it a try and see how the kids like it. Um, speaking of traditional Indian flavors though, this one, garam masala, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, that is sort of a more traditional Indian curry flavor that you would have in a chicken curry. So chicken curry, curry chicken. I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> so that's what we're going to make this week as we uh, pick some of these old recipes and travel around the world since it's summertime uh, with our food flavors. So let's give this one a try. The curry chicken broccoli casserole. Let's get cooking. Bye. Hey, everybody. Okay, we're back. This is, um, this is going to be our curry chicken, not a chicken curry, but curried chicken recipe. So uh, this is from my mom's cookbook collection. And uh, it's one that she just sort of hand wrote. Who knows where she got it? I don't know. There's no telling. Um, and remember, uh, chicken curry is not the same as this curried chicken. Uh, it's complicated. So, <laughs> a lot of times you'll hear people say, I don't like curry. It's, uh, I, don't, I don't like the flavors of curry. Um, but most of the time they've never actually had Indian food. They've had this, uh, this curry blend. This one right here. Curry powder. Whoops. Uh, that one. Curry powder is uh, not a traditional Indian food flavor. It's actually a British spice concoction. The Brits love their curries. <laughs> and um, yeah, so they, they made up this blend. It's tasty. I love it. I love all sorts of stuff with curry, but it's not a traditional curry flavor. So I'm going to make this recipe of curried chicken for our around the world uh, food summertime extravaganza. So, let's get started. Um, we have cooked the chicken. This is, in essence, a chicken broccoli casserole. So, cooked the chicken. It says either four chicken breasts or a fryer, but I'm only doing half the recipe because I don't really know if everybody else is gonna like it or not. So, we're gonna sleep. So, we did two of the chicken breasts instead of four. And, <laughs> Of course, 
Uh, it also has the good old cream of something soup. Cream of something this time is cream of chicken. So we're gonna mix this chicken and the cream of chicken there. Uh, this can should be okay. Remember, sometimes these cans are different sizes because of the, uh, well, there's actually a word for it. It's called shrinkflation. <laughs> I don't know that. I heard it the other day and I was like, oh, that makes sense. Shrinkflation, interesting. Um, of course, what Southern casserole would be complete without mayonnaise? <laughs> We got a half a cup of mayonnaise going in. All right, we got that. A half teaspoon of lemon juice. So let's get our half a teaspoon. It's about that much. Half a teaspoon of lemon juice. Okay, and now, now we're gonna we're gonna curry fry it. <laughs> so again, this is curry powder. This is what gives it the curried chicken flavor, but not chicken curry flavor. That would be more like the, oops, you don't need that. The garam masala, uh, it's two different things, curry chicken and chicken curry. We're making curry chicken because we're gonna use this curry powder. Okay, so it really doesn't take much. It is very strongly um, flavored. It's very aromatic, so it's it's half of three fourths which is like a heaping half teaspoon you're right okay so we're gonna mix this part together and it's going to be just so creamy and delicious look at that <laughs> it's very uh it smells great already to me but i again i really like this curry and i really like the curry so this is more like a, a casserole it's going to have, you know, chicken and, and broccoli and, uh, you know, we're going to bake it. We're going to put some cheese on it here in a minute. A traditional chicken curry, like that you would find at a Indian restaurant, is going to be chicken, chunks of chicken or chunks of meat or whatever. Um, it's going to be stewed, sort of, like it's going to have a sauce. It's gonna be chicken and vegetables and a sauce and they're gonna serve it over rice or serve it with rice rather. Um, this, this ain't that. <laughs> this ain't that. So, uh, this is broccoli, of course. So let's get the bag of broccoli over here. Um, it just has two packages of frozen broccoli. Uh, so of course we're gonna have that and have one bag of portion broccoli. Um, this is the place to use your broccoli cuts. Okay. Broccoli cuts uh, have, you can see it here, it has the, the broccoli pieces, you know, but it also has a lot of the stems in there. And I'm going to break it up just a little bit. Sometimes these pieces are kind of big. So let's break that up. You want to save your florets, your broccoli florets, for, you know, serving whole. But for casseroles, just use the broccoli cuts. It's going to be fine. Okay, so the recipe says cook and drain the broccoli. We've done that. Put it in the bottom of the baking dish. Place the chicken mixture on top. Okay, and so we're going to sort of pour this <laughs> over it. Uh huh. So you know it's kind of, kind of casserole here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got that. It's really, really thick. Super thick. And as this bakes, it'll, you know, it'll get all melty and delicious, and and then it'll, it'll all mix together as it cooks. Um, we're gonna top it, of course, with cheese. <laughs> So we're gonna top it here with, uh, it says a half cup, so a fourth of a cup, because we're only doing a half recipe, of cheese, which, uh, I don't know, I think it's about two ounces of cheese, something like that. 
So let's get some cheese here. Oh, that's <laughs> I always shred too much cheese whenever I'm shredding cheese. So it doesn't take a whole lot. We're gonna sprinkle this on top. So now so far we have broccoli, the curry powder, the chicken, the cream of mushroom soup, the mayonnaise. It's just a, it's a whole lot of fun in there, guys, a whole lot. And then it also says a tablespoon of toasted breadcrumbs. I'm gonna show y'all a little cheat here. This is a panko, and panko is toasted breadcrumbs. So if you don't feel like busting out the toaster to toast your breadcrumbs, just use your panko. And it will work. So we're gonna bake this at 350, it really does smell good, for 30 minutes and see how it goes. Um, this, it doesn't have any rice or anything like that in it, like I said. So this is curry chicken, which is basically chicken and broccoli casserole with curry powder added to it. It is not chicken curry, which is like a chicken vegetable stew that's served with rice. So. There you go. We're going to cook this. Uh, see who I can call on into eating it. Yeah, it smells good. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye. Hi, friends. <laughs> okay. So we have our um, chicken curry. No, curry chicken. Not chicken curry because that's, that's something different dish made. I'm going to see if I can flip this over. I don't think I can. So I'm just going to point it. Ta-da! Here it is. We've already got it on our plates with our meal. So I'm trying it. Uh, Mr. Hubbard is trying it. Heidi is trying it. Lucy is trying it. Titus, who is now behind me. That's his hand right there. <laughs> he is not trying it. So, um, let's give it a go. Titus, what do you think? He doesn't know. Get that yeah. in here. What are we saying, huh? Uh, oh, okay. Ooh. I've had it a bunch. Yeah. Yeah? I approve. Make it a little bit salt. of salt. Does what does Lily think? Too salty. <laughs> Lily says it's too salty. Titus, you want to try it? It's really good. No. It is oh, good. No, I salted every single time beforehand. You salted everything beforehand, so it probably is too salty. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. I like it. So this is what I grew up eating. Uh, curried chicken, not to be confused with chicken curry. Chicken curry, which is a different thing. It's the best one of these meals. Best one so far? Best one, yeah. Yeah? Put, better, in the, put in the rotation. <laughs> it's better than the pig ham. I don't oh, like the pork ham mm -hmm. or something. The pork ham. Yeah. yeah. I forgot what it was called. Pork ham? Pig ham? I don't know. All right. Pig ham. So yeah, curry chicken. <laughs> but not the chicken curry. All right. We'll curry see y'all later. Curry chicken broccoli casserole. Curry chicken broccoli casserole. Yes, 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 yes. Everybody but Titus. Thumbs up. See y'all later. Bye. Bye.